Hallelujah. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank God no other name. The Bible says there's no other name given under heaven where man must be said. John said, he said, I'm the first. He said he was in the beginning. He's the end. Ain't that right? He's the first. He's the last. Thank God no matter what we go through, just know tonight that Jesus has got the last say so. Can you say amen? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll tell you what, the Lord's been good to us around here. Thank God He woke us up, put us here to, today, Brother Nathan. Thank God He said when we serve Him, serve Him with all our hearts. Ain't that what He said? Praise God. Ain't you glad tonight? Thank God when you get in a time of trouble, Brother BJ, that you can call on Jesus. Can you say amen? Praise God. How many just got their faith in the Lord tonight? Just knowing He's still Jesus tonight, that should just be never faith to me and you. Praise God. I tell you what, the, the world's been got to be in a, a bad shape. I was thinking today how the Bible said, let's consider like this, turn the hearts of the children back to the parents. Thank God. You know, back home, you know, last night they told me of the young boy shot his daddy. Thank God. And you know, I tell you, it's just, thank God, we need Jesus, church. I said, we need Jesus more than we ever needed him before. Thank God. Let me tell you something tonight. Without Jesus, thank God for keeping our children Keep it all loved ones. Ain't no telling what would happen. Brother, we preached in here the other night where he said, Noah, I found you faithful. Thank God sometimes you're faithful to say amen. Thank God keeps your children. Can you say amen? Praise God. It's time, thank God, to be faithful unto the Lord. Can you say amen tonight? I tell you what, he's coming back. Thank God when he said this. In the Bible, there was ten virgins. There was five wise and five foolish, didn't he? Thank God, you know, the five wise kept all in their lamp. Thank God when they went out to meet the bridegroom, thank God, you know, they was able to go all the way in, but there was five foolish. Thank God they went they run out of oil. Can you say amen? On the way, Brother BJ, they run out of oil. And they said, give me some of your oil. They said, no, not so. Thank God. So I was beginning to think about that tonight. Thank God, you know, you're going to have to get this thing for yourself. You know, Mama can't just take you, but so far. Daddy can't take you, but so far. Amen. Thank God, I talked to little Bella today. He said, man, I want you to pray for me and my family. I said, well, have you considered going to church? Thank God, and asking a man or woman of God to get the oil bottle out and anoint your head. Thank God, and begin to call on Jesus. You get on your knees, turn your heart back to God, and God will be able to help you. Thank God, the Word of God says this tonight. It said, a fountain cannot bring forth sweet water and bitter water at the same time. Thank God. We can't expect the blessings of God if we don't want to serve Him. Make that right. Can you say amen tonight? Praise God. I tell you, we don't get Sister Angie to come around tonight and say something for the Lord or sing or whatever. Praise God. Thank God. I tell you what, I'm excited what Jesus is doing. Thank God doing right here. Hey, just begin to spill a stay in my soul. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel so blessed and honored to be one more time under the gospel of the Word of Lord. I just want to give a quick testimony of something that God did for me. And I don't have the knowledge to tell you whether it was a vision or a visitation. But I, we were sitting in church at the Tabernacle and Brother Pettis was preaching where I'm from in Abbeville. And all of a sudden I was sitting there and my son, he loves the Lord and he's not out there and seeing he's not doing drugs or drinking but he's not in church like I would want him to be. And if you're a parent, you know, if that's the case, you're constantly praying for that, uh, that child that's not in. That is a burden that stays on your heart constantly, no matter what you're doing. Your heart is reaching out for that child. And I was sitting in church, and I was saying, oh, God, remember my son. God, remember my son, Billy. God, remember my son. And I was hearing Brother Pettis, but my heart was just crying out. And all of a sudden, something happened, and something came down over me where I was sitting in that chair. And I can't tell you what it was. I don't know. It just one minute I was sitting in that seat, and in the blink of an eye, I was sitting before Jesus. I was on my knees, and he was in the throne, and I was on my knees before him. And I looked, and he was sitting there, and he was just looking at me, and he had these packages. They were all around the throne, all on this side, all. I couldn't even see his feet all around the throne. And he said, I heard you praying for your son. 
He wants your son to be saved. But I said, oh, yeah, Lord, save my son. And he told me, he said, he said, how? He said, do you see all of this? He said, these are all the prayers that's come up before me for your son. And I knew it wasn't just my prayers. It was my mama's prayers and my daddy's prayers and my husband's prayers. Brother and Sister Reed, my pastors, all the people that know my son, I knew all those prayers were before the throne of God. And he told me, he said, have I not said it? Shall I not do it? I'm not a man that I should lie. If I said it, I'll perform it. Hallelujah. When he said that, it's like those words begin to go down inside of my soul when I felt it. Take a hold of me. The word, the scriptures begin to take a hold of me. Hallelujah. Deep down on the inside. Hallelujah. And such a joy that I never felt before begin to rise up inside of my soul. And I felt as though at that minute, at that time, that my son right then was saved. What you would feel like in that minute knowing it was happening in such a joy. My God began to rise up inside of me. And when it began to happen and take place in me, He just leaned forward and looked at me. Hallelujah. Right square in my eyes. And He said, and that is what faith is. That's faith. Hallelujah. When you let the Word of God go down inside of you and you begin to believe it and you begin to digest it. Hallelujah. And it takes life. And it don't matter or what you're going through tonight. I don't care if it's a healing. I don't care if it's salvation. I don't care whatever it is you need from God. If He ever gave you a word, if it's written in the Scripture, if it's written in the Bible, God will bring it to pass. See, before all of this happened, I had a word from Brother Terrell. I had a word from Brother Reed. I had a word and he confirmed it even when Brother Barnhill said, God told me he's going to save your son. And when the Lord said, have I not said it? And will I not do it? I'm not a man that I should lie. If I said it, I'm going to do it. He was let me know if you believe God's word, the word can be there. But you got to mix it with faith. Hallelujah. you got to believe it. you got to let it take hold and believe it. Stand on that word. Hallelujah. And right after that, I had a dream. And I saw a loaf of bread out there, like kind of like a, a wheat roll from Subway, but it was smaller. And it was just sitting out in front of me. And it started coming towards me. And as it came, it stopped right in front of me. And it furled out pages. And I looked and saw that it was the Word of God. And it rolled back up into that bread again. And the Lord was bringing it to me. And I knew He wanted me to eat it. And He was telling me, eat the Word. I sent my Word to heal you. The Word of God will save you. And be said and it'll come to pass. The word from the lips of the man of God is the say of the Lord. If it's in the Bible, if he ever spoke to you or gave you a dream, it's yesterday, man. You can stand on it tonight. That motor home sitting right out there. Me and BJ came before the man of God. Hallelujah. We don't have no way to get a motor home. Hallelujah. But we desire to be where the word of God is. Hallelujah. Brother Reed gave us a handkerchief, told my husband, you're going to have a dream. God's going to bring it to pass. He said, God, don't let it be nothing raggedy or leaking. Hallelujah. And we held on to that handkerchief and God gave BJ a dream. And in the dream, someone gave us the motor home. And so we believed it and we looked for it. And there were times, you know, the devil would say, well, there's one. Go see, can't you get financing? And the Lord would remind BJ that dream and said, no, I said I'm going to give it to you. Well, I want you to know God gave us that motor home sitting down there. Come on, Sam, hold on to the way. 
that's holding on to the word of God. Thank God he said, if you just want God to wait, he said, those that wait upon the Lord. My God, ain't you glad tonight? I said, that's a testimony. I tell you what, just having your children say, can they say amen? My God, God reaching down and just giving you the, my God, that's powerful, my God, man. Thank God, you know, sometimes we listen to them other testimonies. And she was saying, and I was saying, God, save my children. My God, it's encouraging me, saying, Lord, save my children, God. Bring them in, my God. Yeah, he said, what I do in the morning, said the one I serve they all. Ain't that what he said? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you what, tonight, thank God we're going to get a burden for our children. We're going to get a burden for our loved ones. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout glory tonight. Thank God, because this thing that we call, my God, eternal life. Thank God, I tell you, this whole place here is winding up. Thank God your children's going to spend eternity somewhere. I said your children's going to spend eternity somewhere. Thank God, Brother Reed preached about the, about more the other night. That's stand my soul. That's 120 years. Thank God, he still give them seven more days. Thank God, you know, God's just giving us some more time. You may think it's just another night. Another tent revival. Thank God for another night that Brother Reed's up here. My God sent us, uh, giving us a word. The time is winding up. Can you say amen? Praise God. Brother Nathan, come around and say something for the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I just appreciate God. What He's doing. You know, I know things have been rough, but God still answers prayer. And here's the cry of His people, you know. I've been praying for my family, and, my, and God's been dealing with my brother. And uh, I just thank God my, my mom and my brother went on to church today. Thank God. But you know, God hears the cry of his people. Hallelujah. The Bible says, The prayer of a righteous man availeth much. He hears the cry of his people tonight. If we'll come to God and pray, hallelujah, fervently, with all our heart, God will hear us. Hallelujah, if we come with faith. Thank you, Jesus. But I just appreciate God. But you know what? In all that's going on, hallelujah, if we just keep on pressing through the battle, keep on pressing through the fight, hallelujah, God's going to see our faithfulness like Brother Jody was saying. Hallelujah, God's going to stand up for us if we just keep on. The Bible says, He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. So if we just keep on believing God, hallelujah, serving God, God's going to move for us. But I just appreciate God, and I thank God for what He's doing for me. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank God a light went out, didn't it? I said a light went out, praise God. Thank God we ought to keep a light burning, Amen. Thank God, like all in the lamp, or let our light went out, we had to get it plugged back in. Thank God, nobody's around it, nobody touched it, just went out. Thank God, you know, ain't that like us? Ain't nobody done nothing to us? Ain't nothing how we just let our light run out sometimes. Praise God, but it's time to get plugged back in. Come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm plugging back in tonight, Lord. Praise God, I tell you what, God's doing something this hour. Thank God, you know, it just keeps ringing through my mind. Thank God. You know, God bringing in that new crop, that new, them new. New people, thank God. And I said, God, Lord, help me tonight, Jesus. Every day, you know, you can easily sit and say, it ain't going to be me. Thank God. You said, well, it ain't me. But let me tell you something tonight. Thank God. And Brother Reed said the Lord told him to come back to his feet. Thank God. You know, then he's coming on this in this revival here in Collinsville talking about the malpractice of the preachers. Thank God. If you've been here, you've been hearing what he's saying. Thank God. He's Thank God he's lying. Thank God doctors tell cutting your foot off and ain't nothing wrong with it. Praise God. I tell you what, that's put the stand in my soul. Can you say amen? Thank God. Sister Rachel, come around tonight. Thank God and obey the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate God for this revival. Yay. Coming to Collinsville, where we couldn't go all the way to Mobile. It's so such a blessing to be here. I'm Yay. thankful. I, I called my friend, Sister Carol. She's been so such a true friend. Amen. These seven years I've been here, she's been such a friend. Thank you, Lord. And I told her, I said, I believe God is going to do something. Yay. 
for his people that are hungry that will come to the tent. If you sacrifice, you know, if you have to work, if you have to take off a day, I know that God will do something. And the word we've been hearing about getting ready, getting the Holy Ghost, getting in prayer, getting in fasting and seeking the Lord and getting closer to him. Because there's nowhere else we can turn in this kind of world that we live in but to Jesus. He is the answer tonight. And I believe it with all my heart. You just let the Lord, let the Lord take your mind, your soul, your body, your strength. Let him. Last night I woke up at 2.53 a.m. That time. And, the, and I know, and I, you know when you hear the Lord's voice, just in your heart, just in your spirit. And he said the stores are going to be empty again. And I know it's his word. That the Lord has given us to prepare us. Yes. That's what he's been saying. That ark. Noah's ark. That God has shut the door. And time is running out. Like Brother yes. Jody was saying. Time is winding up. Yes. And I just want to be ready. Yes. I just want to do what he wants us to do to get ready. I just want to please the Lord. Yes. I just want to make it to heaven. I just want to be a Christian. Yes. If i got to come back to his feet. That's what I want to do. Yes. If I can get it with a new crop. That's what I want to do. I said Lord remake me and mold me. All over again. And what you want me to be. And let me talk to people that you want me to talk to. Whoever it is. You know there's a lot of people walking around. And they don't know the Lord. They're on drugs and they're bound by alcohol. But we can reach them. We just shine our light. And we just show them Jesus. And tell them there is a way. There is a better way. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that he's kept us this far. I'm thankful for each and every one of you to see you again this year. Because we could have not been here. COVID could have took us out, but we're still here. Many people we know and love, they're not here today. But we're blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this with me. So and in the morning, I'm reaping in the evening. So and in the morning, I'm reaping in the evening. So in the morning, I'm reaping in the evening. You're gonna reap just what you sow. Well, if you been praying, just keep on praying. Oh, if you've been praying, just keep on praying. Well, if you've been praying, just keep on praying. Well, praying. you go. Yeah. 
praise the Lord. Somebody shout, glory tonight. Thank God, ain't you glad that God's still holy you tonight? Thank God, when He could have turned you loose at any time. I said at any time, He could have turned you loose. Thank God, when He had another love. Thank God, He cared about you enough just to hold you in a promise home. Brother Barnhill tonight, praise God, don't come around. Praise the Lord. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody put your hands together and say, Lord, we thank you. Thank God, Lord, we thank you for not turning us loose and kicking us out. Praise God, because he could have done it, couldn't he? Praise God. I tell you what, when Jesus does something, he does it right. Thank God, ain't that right? Thank God, it may not be our way, but it's always his way. Praise the Lord. Brother Lord here tonight. glad to be here tonight. I know he mentioned something about me coming up here and then he said something about the buckets. So I don't know if he wanted me to receive an offer or not. I want everybody to get out a hundred dollars and bring it up here. God will bless you for it. Anybody have an offer? Thank you Lord. You want to bless. I'll get, I'll get 20. I want to match it. I'm sure he'll want to take another after looking at like that. <laughs> but it is good to be in the house of the Lord. There comes some. Praise the Lord, there comes some more. Hallelujah. Let's get the spirit of it in here. <laughs> appreciate you. Such an honor to be here with all my brothers and sisters. Just love everybody. Glory. Hallelujah. But, uh, we do love you and we appreciate you and we covet your prayers. How many of you try to pray at least 10 or 15 minutes a day? Nobody in here prays that long? Well, I tell you what, you can start off by praying two minutes a day saying, God help Brother Barnhill. God help Brother Barnhill. <laughs> That's my favorite testimony. But it is. I love everybody. I love everybody. If I've ever done anybody wrong, please forgive me. If I've said anything about anybody, please forgive me. Amen. <laughs> but we do love everybody. We're not going to hold you any longer. I tell you all this good singing and all that. I feel inferior. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to leave the buckets right there. I see a lady getting out of a car right there. She might have a handful of money. Can't never tell. I mean, brother, tell you to take him off and the spirit be so strong. People run, go get him out. They, they, when they got there, they leave their wallets in the glove box because they knowed he was gonna get it. <laughs> you might remember them old days. He, the people be under so much conviction, they run out there and get their wallets and bring them back and put the money in the buckets. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, brother Reed, he takes an offering. Brother Reed takes an offering. All we need to do is, well, we're going to have three of them tonight. We'll, we'll be almost matching Brother Terrell tonight. <laughs> he never would have had a service that didn't take three or four offerings. Hallelujah. But we do love you, and we like to say we appreciate all of you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now we'll turn the service back over to Brother Jody. Is somebody else coming to sing? I'm going to leave the buckets here. If somebody comes in and say, there's the buckets. All right. Brother Jody. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank God, amen. So I'm going to put your hands together tonight. Thank God. We're going to get ready to receive the Word of God. Praise God. Thank God. You know, praise the Lord. It seems like sometimes when you're up here taking an offering up, nobody moves. You're like, oh, buddy. Praise God. Maybe I didn't do it right. I didn't do it enough. But you know what? God knows every need. Let me tell you that tonight. Praise God. I want to say this to Sister Rochelle's coming. Thank God. You know, when you give God something, you give it to God. And God always, come on, don't just shut up on me tonight. I'm not asking for no more money. I'm just saying, thank God. Well, when you give God, He said, the little man that said, Lord, I've passed three times and I've done this and I, 
I go to church every Sunday, but there was one little old man that said, just said, Lord, remember me. When he said all them things, just Lord, remember me. Praise God. So when you give, thank God, just give it to the Lord and say, Lord, just remember me. Thank God I was Ruth today. We thank God she was just so thank God she wanted to put something in the offering. And thank God she gave another offering today for two dollars. She said, I think I'm gonna put that in the thank God the bucket tonight. Praise God. You know, she already had a desire for it. Service ever started. A child said, Lord, help me have a, a childlike mind when it comes to that. Praise God. God bless you tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, let's turn on our feet tonight as we prepare for the word. God has smiled on me. He has set me free.
Praise the Lord. Come on and put your hands together. Let's love him tonight. I said Jesus is worthy. And all the praise. Can you say amen? Come on and praise it. Hallelujah. Go. Go. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. You know, we got so much to praise him for. Thank you, Jesus. We have a thousand. Tongues. We couldn't praise him enough, could we? Praise God. I tell you what, you can use that one you got. Give him some gold. How many can say amen? I said, you can use the one you got. Glory. Just take somebody by the hand and tell them, I don't know about you. I want everything that God got for me. Praise the Lord. Everything. You know, there in the book of Romans, he said, Who he did foreknow, he did predestinate that we could come to the image of his dear son. Praise God. What a privilege. What a privilege it is. Thank you, Jesus. What a privilege it is. To give us an opportunity to be like Him. Amen. How many wants to be like Jesus? I want to be like Jesus, don't you? Praise God. What a great example. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let's just wave our hands and love Him. When I think where I came from, how Jesus brought me out. From a life of sin and sorrow, now a change without a doubt. In my heart, I want to praise you all the love he gave me. Came right down in my own prison, like myself, said go. Oh, I was found in sin's dark dungeon, 
feel. Oh Lord, I'm through your feet. Oh, I speak your word, Lord. My heart belongs to you. Get on the plane. 
He didn't have a passport. You go to, you got to have a passport to fly from this country to another country. Well, you can't even get on the plane. He didn't even have a ticket. He didn't have no money to purchase. But the Lord told him the flight number told him to go and get on the plane. He went down to that port without a ticket, without a passport, without any clothes to go with. Asked him where that flight was. And, you know, the flights all back in them days was outside. None of them was inside. That where you got on the plane, board the plane. He walked out, started up that ramp, and said a man hollered his name. He said, Brother so and so, whatever it was, had a suitcase in his hand coming running. He turned around, he ran right up about halfway that ramp going in that plane. He handed him a suitcase. And with a passport and a ticket. Never saw the man before in his life. He didn't even look at it. He walked up and handed the passport. Handed the ticket. The man tore his part off. Stamped his passport. Told him what seat to go to. Praise God. His passport had his name on it. His ticket had his name on it. He didn't know who the man was, where the man came from. Hallelujah! I'm talking about signs and wonders. I believe we're going to see signs and wonders in these last days. God's going to rock this generation. Things is impossible with man. It's very possible with God tonight. Said he got on to Argentina, opened a suitcase, had two suits, brand new suits, and they fit to the T. Had two new pair of shoes, they fit to the T. Had underwear, they fit to the T. New belt, everything was just what he needed. Glory to God. Who you believe that was? And that was an angel. I reckon I'll rock and speak if he wants to. No doubt it was an angel of the Lord. That made a way! I said that made a way! For a vow, we're going to Argentina. Let me tell you, we got your credit. Sin is word. Sin revival. I'm telling you, the devil can't stop God. Hallelujah, he knows how to make the way. Glory! God knows your suit, shoe size. He knows your suit size better than you do. He knows your name. He knows how to get a passport immediately. He don't have to go through the system. Hello to God don't know. Don't have to go through the system that gets you a passport. He don't have to go to the teller to get you a ticket. He prints out one. Hallelujah. And it'll be on record. And it'll be paid for. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then it still believes he's that kind of God. And God ain't lost it. God ain't lost his power. Just because you went through something don't mean God gone through nothing. God ain't went through nothing. He God. He's sitting on the throne. He's all my own. And he's still in charge. He's still in charge tonight. Hallelujah. And the devil still trembles at the name of Jesus. I said Satan still trembles at the name of Jesus. Do you believe that tonight? Hallelujah. We have power and authority. To use the name that's above every name. Hallelujah. And the devil is brought under subjection to the name of Jesus. Do you believe that tonight? Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, and look, he said, Behold, I give unto you power. Tread on serpent and scorpion. Know all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means.
mean shall be able to hurt you or harm you. That power still exists tonight. Told the disciples in Mark 16, said, Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth in his baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall you cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. Tread on serpents. Drink in the deadly poison. It won't hurt you. Lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. The Bible said they went about everywhere. Preaching the word. And God confirming the word. With signs follow. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Signs follow. Yes. I know the Bible said signs would follow the believers. We believe. Praise God. Signs will follow. God still works miracles where there's faith. Where you believe, He said all things are possible. He didn't stop there. Unto them that believe. That's when all things become possible is when you believe. When you believe, that's when all things become possible and are possible. And will happen by faith when you believe. When you believe God. Hallelujah. When you believe God. That's what that little woman had an issue of blood for 12 long years. She believed before she got there. She said to herself, she didn't tell nobody else. Twelve years she suffered. Twelve long years she had an issue of blood. But she sat in her cell. She saw many physicians, but the Bible said she got worse. She was dying. But she said to herself, didn't tell nobody else, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Hallelujah. 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 She, she got to where Jesus was. And they were throwing Jesus all around him, but she pressed her way through. And touched the hem of his garment. And immediately, the Bible said, she was made whole of that disease. She was cured right there. Right there she touched Jesus. Jesus stopped and said, Who touched me? Who touched me? They said, Lord, everybody's touching you. They're throwing you. People all around you said, No, but somebody touched me with faith. That's the difference. You can touch him all day. But when you touch him with faith, that's what makes the difference. When you believe, when you touch it. When you believe, something's going to happen when you touch it. When you believe that when the hands are laid on you, something's going to happen. That's when something happens. Is when you believe. If I can't believe, all things are possible. Whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive. It. And you shall have it. God ain't just a God yesterday. He's a God right now. If you can believe. You can have faith in God. He's a God right now. Praise God. Not a yesterday. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you believe that tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it was the people that believed that got the miracles. Those that believed that He... He that cometh to me must believe, he said, that he is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Do you believe that to me? If we believe that God is a rewarder to them that seek him, then he'll reward you when you seek him. He'll answer your cry. Jeremiah said, call upon me and I'll answer you. I'll show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Praise God. God's got things we never heard of. God's got things to do. Praise God for us. Would shake you, surprise you. Hallelujah. We don't know it all yet. 
I said, we don't know it all yet. Didn't you say, man? God's got much to show us. God's got many things to show us. Hallelujah. There's revelations and understandings which have been hid from the foundation of the world. Shall be revealed in these last days. There's more to be revealed. Let me to believe you. We don't know it all. There's more to be revealed. And when it's revealed, it's going to reveal Jesus in us. How many believes that? Yes, Do you love him tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you got your mind made up? Hallelujah. Have you got your mind made up? Yes, You're going all the way with Jesus. Yes, Praise God. I mean, you got to be determined. Yes, you do. you got to be determined. Yes, Lord. you, you got to want God. you got to want something to happen. Yes, you know, a lot of people... I don't say a lot. Of, some people pray, but not many people pray through anymore. Thank God, thank you. That's the truth. I mean, it was just time to pray through. Yes, yes, not pray till you get through. Yes, That's easy. Yes. Pray till you get through, but pray through. Yes. Pray till the Holy Ghost starts praying. Yes. Pray till the Spirit of God starts moaning and groaning yes. and interceding through you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For a lost and dying world. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that real moaning, groaning gets a hold of what people used to get a hold of folks. They'd be laying around in old tents, moaning and howling and groaning. Just groaning and a long groan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hunger for God. Want God to do something. Want God to save souls. See, back in them days, everybody pulled together. Now everybody pulls apart. You get a few thousand folks together, pull them together, you move some. You get a few hundred together. It'll move some. Pull them together. Can you say amen? Fight for the same purpose. Pray for the same reason. A revival. For an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. For God to shake America one more time. I mean, it wants to see America shook. Yeah. Only hope for America now is an old fashioned revival, people. She's going down, down, down. And she's going down fast. We're being taken over by our enemy, China. Right now, as we speak, China is taking America over. Step by step. We're falling into the hands of our enemies. God have mercy on us. We need that like one thing will stand up against the devil. That's the power of God. It's gone too far now for man. It's going to take God. And he said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Glory. I'll forgive their sins. And I'll heal the man. God still said I'll heal the man. And those that gave Nineveh another chance. I said, how many of those that gave Nineveh another chance? God sent a word through Jonah to get in 40 days, Nineveh shall be destroyed. But the word got to the king and he pulled off his crown, his robe. Got in sackcloth, humbled himself, called a fast, told people not to eat or drink, even the animals, called everybody on a fast. And it's desperate time when you call the animals on a fast. Ain't none of it. Ain't nobody going to eat around here. We need God. Desperation. See, God sent his word. And the king believed it. We're in a generation that folks don't believe the word of God. God can send a word out. Folks don't even believe it anymore. But the king of Nineveh believed it. When God said, yeah, in 40 days, Nineveh shall be destroyed. He poured off his robe, his crown, humbled himself, and called a fast. 
women, children, animals, everybody. And you know what he said? He said, maybe God. He wasn't even sure. But he said, maybe God will have mercy on us if we'll do everything we do quickly. If we'll humble ourselves quickly and get down here in sackcloth and ashes and, and push the plate back. Any yes. many folks want to push the plate back anymore. That's when the first thing goes out. Fasting. Praying. You hear me? That's when the first thing goes out. You make all kinds of excuses not to fast. Fasting and praying. I said fasting and praying. It still takes fasting and praying to stay real with God. You know, if you're going to have a ministry, you've got to fast and pray. you got to do more than read books and get on the computer. you got to fast and pray. you got to get out before God. Read the Word. Study the Bible. Are you listening? Pray. You know something about the Bible. I see folks preaching off of computers. Some of them preach out the cell phone now. Ain't nothing like reading your Bible. I still believe in reading your Bible. Carrying your Bible to the pulpit. Amen. I said, I still believe in. I said, what difference does it make? It makes a whole lot of difference to me. Carrying my Bible to the pulpit. I couldn't pull up nothing on the computer no how. If I could, I still want to take my Bible with me to the platform, to the pulpit, to read out of it. Hallelujah! It was all wrapped up in them computers. Cell phones. And the Lord told us way back then when cell phones started coming out, He told us to tell them, said the cell phones will be more addictive than drugs. And it is. It's done surpass drugs. People can't do without it. Man, they leave the Bible at home. It won't take twice. They leave that cell phone at home. Oh, my phone, I left my phone. Where's my phone? Turn around! <laughs> they ain't saw the Bible in days. Or are you all quiet? Jesus. Don't even think about, about leaving the Bible. Just so they don't leave that cell phone. What do we do before they come? We stop in phone booth. Got out in the rain and the cold. And made phone call. If convenience takes you away from God, Lord, take away the convenience and give us God back. We need God. We're losing out with God in America. Churches are backslidden. There ain't no difference between the holy and the unholy anymore. That's what Ezekiel said. You ain't made no holy priest. So you ain't making no difference between the holy and the unholy. But there is a difference. I said there is a difference between right and wrong. Everything is not meddled out together. The world it's like the church, and the church is like the world. The world goes to the the church goes to the world entertainment, and the world goes to the church's entertainment. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Go ahead, brother. Go they're all joined in. Yes. Yes. I said they're all joined in. Yes. But the word of God was preached; it was separate. Yes. I said when the word of God is preached, it was separate. See, we live in a generation that the preachers ain't preaching but one side of God. That's right. 
That's the love side. Thank God for the love of God. I wouldn't be here tonight if one for the love of God. But I want you to know that there's another side to God. You anger Him. You turn your back on Him. Hallelujah. I said you turn your back on Him. And you, you walk away from His truth. There's another side to God that this generation don't even know about anymore. The preachers come to the place they're preaching that God loves people too much to send them to hell. We could call up the rich man and let him have his microphone. He'd tell you, you better do good while you can. You better live right while you're living. You, you, you better help the poor. You better, you better call on Jesus. You, you better turn to God while the breath is in your body. If you wait till death comes, are uh, oh, you listening to me? The rich man lifted his eyes up in hell. We better pray while we got a chance, folks. Get a hold of God. But the world and the church is in the same category now. There's such a world in spirit. Wherever the world is, the concerts, the beaches, you got the preachers, their wives, their children. They're right down there where the world is. All are drinking and doping and ungodliness. Come on now. What's a man of God got business doing there? That's right. That's right. He got no business. Go ahead. The Bible said, Love not the world, didn't it? Neither things in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If the love of the world he said the love of Father is not. We better check ourselves. Paul said and see if we're still in the faith. Check yourself and see whether you're still in the faith. Is it still wrong with your soul? But they're only preaching one side of God. And this is a generation coming up that don't know the judgment side of God. When people knew the judgments of God, it made them speak right, walk right, dress right, talk right, listen to the right kind of music. It made them fear. It made them fear to go astray. It made them fear to backslide. It made them fear. But we're living in a different day now. But it's the same God. I said we're living in a different day now, but it's the same God. There about said the prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests bear rule there. That they bear rule on the people by that false prophet. They, they run the church by that false prophecy. Yeah. And you know what he said? My people love to have it so. Yeah. But what will they do in the end? That's right. What's going to count is how you stand in the end. Yeah. When you stand before God, what's going to count is how you stand with God in the end. Jesus. That's what's really going to count. This generation don't know the one side of God. They don't know that side. Then man, there's wife lied to the Holy Ghost and both of them fell dead in church. In the New Testament. That was after the Holy Ghost. That was after the Holy Ghost. That was after Jesus. They lied to the Holy Ghost. You know what you you speak of judgment, they say, Oh, that was in the old testament. This ain't in the old testament. This is in the book of Acts. They lied about an offering. I said they lied about an offering. Everybody was giving all and they wanted to appear 
that they were giving all, but they made up between them they were going to keep part of it back and lie about it. They weren't lying to the man. They were lying to God. This is God's kingdom. This don't belong to man. Don't belong to me. Don't belong to you. It don't belong to none of us. We're just called and chosen to carry this message of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To preach the word. But it belongs to Jesus. Paul said, you're not your own. You're born with the price. And the price is the precious blood of a lamb that was slain. From the foundation of the world. They made up together that they were going to keep back part of it. It was theirs in the first place. They didn't have to lie about it. That's right. And I guess they figured they could get by. God didn't know. They could get by with it. But he knows that God knows everything. I said, the Lord knows everything. God lays on your heart to do something. You get up and you say, well, I obey the law. You better watch. Don't lie to the Holy Ghost. You make a vow to God, you better keep it. It's important. In the Bible, there was this man made a vow. He got in trouble. He was out there in war. He got so desperate to get a hold of God. And he said, Lord, if you'll help me out of this mess I'm in and give me victory over my enemies when I make it home, I'll give you, I'll sacrifice the first one that meets me from my house. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. God heard his cry that day. It's just written to show us God expects you to keep your word to Him. Just like you expect God to keep His word to you. He expects you to keep your word to Him. God gave that man great victory that day. But he was so desperate. He was losing the battle. If you step way out, sometimes you've got to step way out. Some, sometimes you got to step out extra when you make a vow to God. I said he needed to move God. He said that was a foolish thing to know he was desperate. A man, when he's desperate, he'll, he'll do a lot of things. He was desperate. He was losing the battle. The enemy was overcoming him. So he stepped way out and said, Lord, if you'll give me victory over my enemies, the first thing that meets me when I get home, I'll give it to you. I'll sacrifice it. God gave him great victory and he went on home. He pulled up, headed in the home, out come Ronnie's daughter. Virgin daughter. I'm sure his heart fell to his feet. But he done made a vow to God and God done kept his side. It would have been a dangerous thing not to keep his. And he started trying to really... Get and dig and get out, and his daughter said, Whatever you promise God, do it. Whatever you have promised God, don't you hold back. You do it. God held him to it. God held him to it. Said, what kind of God you preaching? I'm preaching the God of the Bible. Just to wake us up and get our senses operating that He is. That, the way the world is preaching God is all wrong now. We better wake up and realize He's not only a God of love, He's a God of judgment. 
Just look around you. All around this world. Man, it's falling apart. The pale horse is riding. People are dying like flies. All kind of ways. Killing each other. Death and sorrow. Pain. Disease. Has fell on us. In this generation. Plagues. And America's falling. God help us. I said, God help us. America's falling to our worst enemy. And that's China. Our president has sold us out. That's wrong. I warned people about that, man. They got mad. Called me all kind of names. I said, you're going to see. You'll see. You'll see. You put that man in office, you're going to see what's going to happen. Look what he's done. And he's... He, we're, America's gone. Without a revival. Without God having mercy on us. Jesus. He's done so far in debt to China. They done paid him so much money, he can't afford to open his mouth. They run that spy balloon all across America, up over our silos, missile silos, over our military bases. They act like, act like, well, we're waiting to see. We were, they give more time to finish. There have been some more. There were four before that. They didn't say nothing about it. There have been two since then. See, they own the intelligence. They don't speak out unless they're told to speak. The FBI has sold out. We have no intelligence to help us as citizens. They're all in that thing together. One world order. The Antichrist kingdom. We are at that place you can't buy or sell. So you got the mark. And the name of the number. The palm of your hand is for you. We are at that day. God help us. God help us. And people ain't ready. People ain't ready for the mark of peace. And I read in the Bible where there's a people that's going to overcome. His name, his number, his mark. Book of Revelations. They stood on the sea of glass. Singing the songs of Moses and the Lamb. Having the hearts of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They overcome the beast, his mark, his name, and his number. They overcame with the blood of a lamb and the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the dead. There was some folks too. They didn't sell out. Folks are selling out, going and coming. Selling out to the world. Preachers are selling out. They all got the same little old sound, using the same little old words. It's sick. We need the word. We need the word. Don't adulterate it. Word of God's what we need. The devil ain't afraid of this strange ground stuff. The devil's afraid of the word of God. He's afraid of the anointing. He's afraid of the power of God. He ain't afraid of this Jim Sam stuff that they're out there preaching. Dressing in the little old clothes. Jacked up riches. Jacked up coats. Homosexuals, what it is. It's the spirit of homosexual. In the pulpit. And you right now, they're all going to see what I'm going to tell you. There are going to be more preachers you're going to see turned over to that spirit. We have to do it. You watch what I'm telling you. Mark it down. You're going to see more preachers turned over. You know why? They're giving themselves over. They're giving themselves over to that old style. Them old motions holding their hands the same. Man, you better stand up and be a man. You better go on your fist. At the devil, don't give no broke wrist. Go on your fist up. Hallelujah. 
you to raise your leg up and kick it. Back up to it like a mule. Bust your high. They saw it. And where they're really falling, if they don't even realize they're falling into the spirit of perdition. He said, we're none of them that draw back, Paul said. To perdition. But we are them that believe to the saving of our soul. But there's a drawback going on. People are drawing back from the word. They're drawing back. They're going in this old loose living. Jezebel. False church. They're all coming back to mama. The Catholic church. They're all gathering back in. You, you look at these preachers, how they're dressing, how they're breaking down a little bit more time. It's getting more perverted. Them preachers look like they skin down. Skin down. Man, you have to have somebody help you get out of them. Let you cut yourself out. You put it in the pulpit. My God, Lord. I said they put it in the pulpit. Getting up there with a shirt tail hanging down here. Tennis shoes on. Nonchalant. And then when they are. Suits on, they got these little jacked up coats, these little jacked up britches, jacked up in the strap. The britches jacked up along in here. Coats is up here. Coat tails up above the belt. That's him old spirit. Be a man. Don't jack yourself up. Don't try to be in style. But all these, all these stylists are homosexuals. But all these designers are homosexuals. And they're trying to make clothes. To turn men into perverts. They're trying to make clothes. To turn women into perverts. Age. I told him like this, I said, it looks like a a squirrel in a rat suit. And jacked up clothes. So tight. Shame and disgrace. That's what it is. There's no holiness, no separation. Men don't fear God anymore. They're took over by these spirits. Proud and style. Jesus. Trying to be something. Jesus. The Bible said when a man thinks himself to be something, he's nothing. Amen. That's what the Bible said about it. That's right. But you watch it. You're going to hear more preachers going this route. Putting on that, all these old jacked up perverted clothes. You watch. They invite that spirit in. They're opening their door. You men better check your clothes. <laughs> Open that door. That spirit to come in. Are you listening? We need a revival. We need a Holy Ghost revival. Glory. Nothing's going to save us now. 
but an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. That's all. We're in desperation. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we're in desperation. Jesus. Help us. Help it, I thought about the people that got in distress and any man had come to Israel. They got all the women and children together. They went down to the house of God and stood before the altar. Heaven knows that's what you have to do. Go to God. They went to God and they stood. They got all the families. And they stood before the altar and said, Lord, I enemy. There are too many. We can't fight them. We got to have help. Will you help us? Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. And you know what they did? After they said, Lord, help us, they just stood there. Lord, just say something. And all at once the Spirit of God fell on one of them young men. He said, You're going to go out tomorrow. Thus said the Lord. But you won't have to fight. I'm going to do the fighting for you. Because you come here and you stood and you brought your women and your children. You honored me. It's time to honor God again. It's time to get your children back in the house of God. Bring them back to the altar. Bring them and teach them how to pray. It's time, hallelujah, to honor God with all you have. To honor the Lord with all yourself. Lean not unto your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. And He'll direct your steps. I mean, He wants the Lord to direct your steps. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of God fell on that young man. He said, you'll go out tomorrow, but you won't have to fight. He said, I'm going to do the fight. They went out and presented themselves on the battlefield. The angel of the Lord went among them. They turned on each other and killed each other off. And Israel didn't have to sling a sword. Because they went to the Lord. They went to the Lord and told him we need your help. And it was this time for us to come to the Lord and tell him we need your help. It's time to come back to Jesus. Who sit back and act like you don't need God? We all need God. It's time to come like they did. They came to the altar and said, Lord, help us. The enemy is too many. It's too great. We can't fight him ourselves. We got to have your help. You know, so stand on your feet. Tell him tonight, Lord, we need your help. God, help us. Help you. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. God, we need your help tonight. Come around these altars and let's kneel. Tell him tonight. Tell him, Lord, we need your help. Oh, Jesus, we need your help. God, the enemy is too great. We need your help, Lord. Lord, we can't fight this battle ourselves. You said the battle belongs to you. Lord, you said the battle's the Lord's. Oh, we present ourselves before you. But we ask you to help us, Lord. God, we're not asking you to do it all. But we ask you to help us. Give us strength, Lord. Lord, we need your help. Lord, we need your help tonight. God, America's crumbling. America's falling. Out of the children. Out of the grandchildren, Lord. We don't want them to face this mess. We don't want them to face them Chinese soldiers. Lord, give us help, Lord. Help us. Stand back up again. Give us revival, Lord. Give us an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. God, send the fire. Send the glory. Send the power. Come on and cry out to him. Oh, God, we're asking you, Jesus. God, we're asking for your help, Lord. 
God, we're in this altar tonight. God, asking for your help, Lord. God, we look and see, God, just like they would the children of Israel did, God. Lord, it is like we're being overran, Lord. But God, we're asking tonight, God. We know it don't take but a moment, God. God, for when you begin to move, Lord, you can turn the tide against the enemy, Lord. God, we're here tonight saying, oh, God, this thing is out of our hands, Lord. God, all we can do, Lord, is stand still, Lord. God, all we can do is come back to the altar, Lord. All we can do is say, God, have mercy on us, Lord. God, we know tonight, Lord, God, that with the God we serve, Lord, God can bring down, Lord, this evil God that's been launched, Lord, in the nations tonight, Lord. God, we got an enemy, Lord. God, this done crept in, Lord. God, and sold out, and got our leaders, Lord, that sold out to them, Lord. But God, we're asking, Lord, God, in this altar tonight, Lord, God, for you to help us, Lord. God, for you to have mercy on us, God. Oh, God, we're searching, Lord. Asking God for your help, Lord. God, we know tonight, Lord, there ain't a man that can deliver us, Lord. We know this ain't up to a man tonight, Lord. God, this thing, Lord, the only thing that can turn this, Lord, is for you to help us, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, we see in the Bible, Lord, God, that you can change things. God, you know how to make war. God, you know how to make war tonight on the enemy, Lord. You know how, Lord, to make war, God, on the enemy of your people tonight, Lord. But, God, you're looking for a people that will come back to you, Lord. Oh, God, don't turn us over into the hands of our enemies, Lord. Let us wake up now, Lord. We don't want our children, Lord. God, being taken over, God, by the enemy tonight, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. God, we got blind leaders, Lord. God, we got blind leaders up there tonight in Washington, Lord. We've got blind governors, Lord. We've got blind mayors, Lord. God, there's whole cities right here in America, Lord, that looks like a third world country, Lord. We've got God. we got Godless people, Lord, that's in high places, Lord. God is making decisions, Lord, that's leading us down to a path of destruction, Lord. But God, tonight, we're asking, Lord, one more time, God, that you send a revival, Lord, that'll rock this generation, Lord, that'll drop back the enemy, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, Lord Jesus, Lord, when that, when that old king began to brag, begin to say what he was going to do, God, you told him, you said, I heard what he said, I heard him when he boasted, I heard him when he bragged, and God, you made him, you dealt with him, Lord, God. Thanks, Lord. God is one one place, Lord. Lord, you didn't even lift a finger, Lord. You just started a rumor, Lord. You just let a rumor start among them, Lord. God, you know how to bring down nations. You know how to bring down kings, Lord. There ain't a man, Lord, that can withstand, Lord. God, when you turn things, Lord. Oh, God. Oh. Lord, hear the cry of your people. It's about us, Lord. God, don't let us go no further, Lord. God, if you don't intervene, Lord, if you don't come on the scene, Lord. God, if you don't take our case, Lord, if you don't turn this thing around, Lord, we're heading into destruction, Lord. Oh, that Brimayera Oh, God, it's bad enough to have blind leaders. It's bad enough to have God have people that can't see up in Washington, Lord. But, God, when you got ministers in the pulpit, God, that's turned a blind eye, God, there's no warning, Lord. There's no howling coming out the pulpit. There's no stirring word, Lord, that'll cause the people to check themselves. God, that's even worse, Lord, than a blind president or a blind governor. Lord, God of the house of God, God can't see, Lord, what's coming, Lord, God, then that leads to destruction, but when you got me sitting up tears howling, Lord, when you got ministers crying out against sin, Lord, it begins to drive 
back. It begins to head off, Lord. It begins to fight, Lord. Got the word of God. God, when it goes out, Lord, it's more powerful than any sword. It's more powerful than any tank, God. It can destroy the enemy, Lord. Oh, Lord, I remember a few, a couple of years back, God. God, you gave Brother Reed that vision, Lord. God, there was you. God, you shot something out, and he knew it was your power, God. Lord, God, the word that came to Brother Reed's mind was with such an awesome power, Lord. He felt the power, Lord. God, it went out against the enemy, Lord. I'm reminding you, Lord, of that vision, Lord. God, send something out tonight, Lord. God, send the angels of the Lord out tonight, God. Let them begin to make war. God, send a confusion. Lord, God, send the confusion, Lord, amongst those that are plotting and scheming, Lord, the downfall of the nation, Lord, send out something, God, oh, Lord, 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 your words in my eyes, it's over the righteous, and my ear is inclined to their prayer, we're saying, God, help us, we're saying, God, Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lord. God, you've got power tonight. There's more power for any nuclear weapon. God, but the prayers of the saints. God, the prayers of the church can turn things around, Lord. God, I remember years ago, Lord, as a, as a child, Lord. God, God, Brother Terrell came out. Then God, he never preached. And it's such a how begin to go up from the people. And God, Brother Terrell kept telling us, oh, we better pray. I feel we have, we need to pray tonight, Lord. And God, people prayed. They bombarded the heavens, God. They laid there for hours, Lord. And God, that prayer stopped nuclear war. I told I'm a higher. It stopped the destruction, God, of a nation, Lord. They was about to declare nuclear the war, Lord. Got the next morning, Lord. We seen in the news, Lord. I know prayer changes things, God. Prayer tonight, God, can turn the tide. God can steal the tide of the enemy, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, God. Send signs and wonders, Lord. God, let the signs and wonders return, God. God, shake the heavens, Lord. God, shake the earth, Lord. God, but do something, God. Do something, God, for this nation, Lord. God, I'm asking you to fix it. God, that man can't take credit, Lord. God, do something out of the ordinary. God, do something only you can do, Lord. God, I know tonight, God, that you're still on the throne and you're still in control. Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God. Lord, I've seen the time, Lord. God, there'd be a hurricane out in the ocean, Lord. God, it'd sit out there for days. And God, the news would be telling us it's heading this way. And God, somebody would get down on their knees and begin to pray, God. And it would turn that category five and turn that powerful storm around. God, prayer's powerful than any category five. God, prayer can change things. It can change a nation. It can turn it around, Lord. And God, I'm asking you tonight, God, turn us off of this path of wickedness and this destruction God that we're headed down tonight oh Lamb of God oh God oh God incline your ear tonight Lord God we don't want our children we don't want our loved ones we don't want our friends we don't want this generation to be swallowed up God with this spirit of perversion Lord it's taken over the White House. It's taken over entertainment, God. It's taken over these stores, God. God, it's swallowed up whole nations. But God, I'm standing tonight. We're standing in the gap, God. We know that you can bring it down. We know you can turn it around, Lord. Oh, God. We got young men so confused. God, they don't know what they are. 
Or we got young girls that are so mixed up. They don't know what they are. God, you got people that's taken over with that spirit. They ain't satisfied being God a homosexual. They're not satisfied being taken over that spirit. They want to grab somebody else and turn them into it. God, I'm asking tonight, Lord, that you send a worldwide revival. You send something down, Lord. You put something down in your people, God, that we're staying in this move, God, that's sweeping up the nation, that's stealing our young folks, Lord. You got your ministers with power, Lord, to counteract this satanic revival, God, that the homosexuals are having. Turn this around, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. God, hear us tonight, Lord. God, I know, Lord, last year, Lord, October, Lord, up in Jackson, Lord, Tennessee, the Word of God spoke and said you was dispatching 10,000 angels. My God, we're calling on them tonight, Lord. We're calling and reminding your Word. We need some help down here. God, the battle's going against us, God. We need some re uh, God, send some reinforcements. Send some backup, Lord. We need some help, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. We're calling on you, Lord. You know how to war. You know how to make war, Lord. God, you know how to bring it down and stop it in its tracks, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Lord, we read one place, Lord. God, it looked like they was hemmed in and fixed in. God, you sent one angel. God, before the sun came up, he had nearly killed 200,000 people. My God, what could 10,000 angels do in a night's work? It can turn this thing around. It can set whole cities free, God, from this abomination, from these forces of hell. God, that's came in, God. Oh, God, I'm praying tonight. God, send the angels of the Lord. God, help us down here, Lord. God, we're getting weak and we need some strength. We need some Help down here, Lord. Help your people, Lord. Holy Holy Oh God, Lord, you told me, Lord, a few weeks ago, you said my word will prevail. My word will overcome. And God, I feel the word of God. I can feel your word. Got these past three services. It's pushing back. It's counteracting. God, I believe, Lord, we're going to see a difference, Lord, because the word of God is powerful. It's stronger than powerful, Lord, than any two-edged sword. It'll cut sin out. It'll cut sin off, Lord. It'll drive it back, God. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh Lord, you're still God. You're the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. You're the God of King David. God, you turned the tide. God, he took a little handful of outlaws. And God, he whipped them. God, the Philistines, Lord. You raised up mighty men, God. Raise us up tonight. Give us this power, Lord, that you gave your apostles. God, the counteract, the drive back, the set people at free tonight, Lord. Oh, God, Lord Jesus, Lord God, God, the Bible said the fool said in his heart, there is no God. God, there's many tonight that don't believe who you are, don't believe you're in control, but there's a handful of us left. God, there's pockets throughout these states. There's handfuls, God, in these churches, 15, 20 left, God, but still crying, still hanging on to the truth, still believe, God, and I'm master tonight that you remember us one more time, God. Don't let us be overrun. Don't let us go down like this, Lord. Holy, holy. Oh, God. Stir us up, God. Put a fight back in.
this, Lord. God, stiffen up our backbones, Lord. Grant us boldness, God, to stand in the gap, to stand and call against sin. God, just like John, he told the king, he said, it's not lawful for you to take your brother's wife. And God, it cost him his head, but yet he still stood there. God, these men of God didn't back down. They wasn't cowards, Lord. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, God. God, these mayors, God, these councilmen have passed the ordinances, God, to keep tents out of their cities. But God, those cities are being turned into hell, Lord. God, give them something, Lord. God, give them dreams. Give them night tremors, God. God, send them nightmares, Lord. God, to cause them to repent. God, cause them to come to their senses. Because, God, they've unleashed hell on our young people, God. They've unleashed these spirits, Lord. God, by shutting out the word of God. But, God, I'm asking, Lord. God, send the word. One more. Send the word, God, across this nation with power and authority, Lord. Oh, I feel you, Lord. Oh, I feel you, Lord. God, these old false prophets. God, all these old false moves, Lord. God, they've had their day, Lord. Oh, God, they've had their time, Lord. God, everybody thought Simon was a man of God until the real men of God showed up. God, until the apostles came. God, they had power. They had a Holy Ghost fire, God. There was a line of separation. They began to see that Simon was a nobody. He was a false prophet, Lord. God, you are always sent men and women of God that bring a difference. God, you always show up in God and there's a real and there's a false and the only way to expose the false God is through a real man of God. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lord. They've got people leading them to hell by the thousands, Lord. God, why your men of God Real pastors, Lord, can't hardly keep the lights on. Can't hardly keep God help anymore. But God sent some reinforcements. God sent some reinforcements. God sent some help, Lord. God, you told me a few years ago that help was on the way. God, we're holding on. God, trying to hold the line. God, as brother, he told us, Lord, hold the line, Lord. But God, if you don't help us, if you don't send some help, God, if you don't send somebody to help us, Lord. Oh, Riva Koshako Noai. Oh, Rimi Anseke Koasaka Chekoa. Oh, God. Always against impossible odds. That's what makes you God. God, when you move, when there's no other way. Lord, behind the word said, where there seemed to be no way, you'll make a way. God, you're a make a way. You'll make a highway, Lord. God, out of a sea bed. God, you know how, Lord. The locked and all jaws of a lion, Lord. You know how to take the bird out of a fire, God. You know how to shake the jail out of God to shake the angels, to shake the angels, to let there be a jailbreak, to break your men out of prison. God, we need to break out here tonight. We need some help, Lord. Oh, God. Send the refreshment, God. Oh, God. We're not wanting to quit. We just need help, God. We just need to catch our breath, Lord. My God, oh, hell is a being against us, Lord. Oh, the God. I'm hanging on. We believe tonight. We're here tonight under this tent because we Still waiting. God, let me get at the altar. We're waiting on God's voice. We're waiting on Him. God, help us, Lord. Help your people tonight, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Viva Kanyo Kuasaka. Oh, Lord, I feel, Lord, you're about to roar out of your place, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lord, we're out of your place, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
glory. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and praise Him. Come on and praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I appreciate you. I give you glory and honor and praise. Come on and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Praise His holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wave your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Praise the Lord. Do we have anybody in any prayer? We pray in the name of Jesus. Touch 
of the power of God. You keep him, Lord, in the hall of your hand. Preserve him, Lord, in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over him to be kept from every evil power, force, in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, but neither it. I decree it in Jesus' name. Touch you, Lord. Touch Brother Joe. For the power of God through Jesus Christ. Lord, touch him right now to the crown of his head, to the sole of his feet. For the power of God, Jesus Christ, to direct him, show him. Speak to him. Direct him in the name of Jesus. Strengthen him. Strengthen his faith. Strengthen his ministry. Strengthen the anointing of him. Use him for your glory. For the power. In the name that's above every name. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the devil's a liar. In Jesus' name, bind your Satan. Bind you. In Jesus' name, rebuke the spirit of the devil. In Jesus' name, take authority over you, Satan. Of the power of the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. In Jesus' name, by the power, and through the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I rebuke every power and break every yoke off. And I set you free in your mind, free. Rebuke the spirit of fear. Because not give us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. In Jesus' name. Thank you for it. Praise God. Thank you, Miss. You're going to be all right. That was a lot. Bless you. Lord, I should have blessed you. Touch him, Lord. Use him for your glory. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Lord, that your power go through him. That your refreshment of your anointing in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. From the crown of your head to the sole of his feet. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Lord, I strengthen him, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give him strength, wisdom, knowledge. Help him. Lord, help him. Cut the devil off, Lord. Cut him off. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, save your life. You can't have him. He's called and chosen. Devil your life. Go in Jesus' name. Go by the power. By the power. By the power. By the power of God. I set you free. Free. <laughs>
Jesus. Glory to God. I feel the strong oaths of the devil being broken. I feel the powers of Satan being broken. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's the Lord to do it. There's God's power to break. But I feel it being broken.
sick people's minds being set free. Chains falling off. All that old warfare. Praise God. All of those satanic force is hovering around your brain. You hear? Hallelujah! I said hallelujah! Glory! Glory! Praise Him! Praise Him for victory! Praise Him for victory! Come in the morning and pray. Come tomorrow evening. Pray. I know it's just time to pray. God bless you.